me how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring the sucker down Singing louder than the crowd to the client's house and go ahead and start day two on her kitchen cabinets uh, come along and keep on watching to see what's up next get ready to head out and looks like we got some packages yes i must be for the south padre trip hey, hey. so i'm excited <laughs> Okay guys, so from here, what I'm doing is, this is step two. You guys saw it in the first vlog, but here's a closer look at step two and applying the bond coat. And so pretty much the bond coat is a formula to provide maximum adhesion to like wood and laminate surfaces. And they recommend that you do two coats. That's really important. Um, to make sure you have the full coverage. You don't want the old wood to seep through and be very noticeable. So one coat will cover it. You're gonna need two. And um, before you apply the bond coat, it's also important to make sure you wipe all the frames and the doors and the drawers. And you have to use a lint-free cloth because this will remove any dirt or residue that's left on the surface. You don't wanna have any of that mixing in with your paint. So once you do that, you also want to go ahead and tape the inside edges of all the cabinet frames and um, the edges of the walls and any appliances. Just make sure everything is taped down. You want to press really hard down on the edges to make sure nothing's bleeding through. You also want to make sure that you have a good quality brush. Um, the brush that I'm using here is the Wooster. It's a two inch brush and it's for all paints and stains. So it has a really good quality. It is a bit more on the pricier side. I think these brushes typically run about at least 12 bucks and up, but you get a really good finish with this brush. So it, it's worth spending that extra money because it will give you a really good flawless look. And you want to um, also to ensure like the best look, you want to use up and down brush strokes on the frame sides and use side to side brush strokes on the rails. And once the first coat is completely dry, after about two to three hours, then you will go ahead and apply the second coat. All right, so we are knocking out the cabinet and Coming along really, really good. Those ones are finished. Looking good. And these need another coat on top. So with the decorative glaze, it gives it a nice glaze feature versus it being just matte. It's not dry yet. It takes about eight hours to fully dry. So it won't be as shiny, but this is how it looks. And I can show you versus it looking matte. It'll give it a nice little sheen to it. All right, y'all. So yesterday I was way too tired to cook, even though it's simple and easy. I was just tired, you know? Sometimes we just get like that. We're just tired and we don't want to do nothing. So that's how it was yesterday after the nose keeps running. After, um, I got back from the client's house. I was just tired and I just didn't feel really like cooking. So tonight, I'm gonna be making the chicken alfredo. So I keep on watching and let's see what we get. All right, so as y'all know, um, we went to the grocery store yesterday and picked up the ingredients. I'm just gonna be cutting up some chicken breast, the noodles, the sauce, got my seasoning here. And so let's get started. Alrighty, so first we want to start with the chicken and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it all because the kids are not here. I got three boys and they're all gone to North Carolina for the summer. Yes. 
Okay, can we just take a moment and let that sink in? Three kids are gone for the whole summer. Thank you, Lord. Like, God is good. But we got a village that is able to help us out like that. So let me go ahead and rinse this off. Chicken is all nice and rinsed. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and start slicing it up. Sli slicing it up, you know what I'm saying? Slice, slash, dash, cause I'm gonna hold in the ass. Throw blood on the walls. Play tennis with your balls. And the phone ring, don't answer the call. I'm sorry. I'm random like that. I don't know if y'all remember that. That was from Scream. Or something like that. It was a scary movie screen. But I'm, I'm, I'm always throwing in a song with words. Like, if I hear a certain words that trigger a song for me, then I'm just going to start singing it. So let me just go ahead and chop, chop. Chop, chop. Oh my gosh. And when we go to South Padre, it's looking like it's going to be like raining. I'm gonna be so upset. And I still haven't even begun to pack. Like, I just, I don't know. Too much going on. I've been trying to edit my videos today. Mm. That's gonna be a process. Because it is not easy editing for a YouTube video. I mean, I didn't think it was easy. But, uh, well, I mean, it's not that it's hard. It's just time consuming. That's it. Just time consuming. So, yeah. Gotta get that together. For the extra piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and season it up and then put it in some Ziploc and eat it later this week and it's gonna be bomb! Alright, now I got the chicken all cut up and rinsed. Now let's go ahead and start seasoning it. Start with some black pepper. Alright, black pepper, get some onion powder. Get some garlic powder. I do a little ginger. It's like one of my favorites. This is all perfect seasoning, garlic and herb. Sorry, y'all. I'll be doing Okay, okay. I like to put quite a bit of this. Okay. And then some parsley. Mix it all up. So I have my pot and it's nice and hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my olive oil. Uh, I don't really measure, so I just pretty much put enough to cover the bottom of the pan. If you like, you can measure, but this is pretty much how much I use. I just eyeball stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my wooden spoon and add my chicken and I like to use a wooden spoon so it doesn't scratch the bottom. Alright, so while my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and have my noodles ready. Alrighty, so our water is at a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and add my noodles. I like to put a little coconut oil in my water. 
to keep the noodles from sticking together. And it also gives it a nice little taste. So yeah, I like to do that. And here I'm gonna add some pepper. And I'm still gonna add like a dash of salt. And then So here I'm going to add a little onion powder and a little garlic powder because I do like for my noodles to also have um, some flavor and not be like so bland so that the noodles and the meat can have some flavor, you know what I'm saying? Okie doke. Wait for that. Alright, so now our noodles are pretty much almost done. I'm going to go ahead and pop these bad boys in so that's the done the food is done and those are the breast sticks that I like Okay, here I'm going to be adding the Alfredo sauce. Going to go ahead and put some of that in there. And I'm also going to add my additional seasonings because what they have in a can, I mean, it's good, but it's just not enough for me. Like, I need to taste the burst of flavor, you know? So I'm going to be adding some more of that um, all purpose seasoning, garlic and herb. Go ahead and put that in there. And don't be scared, you know, put it in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah, yeah. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and add some of that. Add a little more onion powder, garlic powder, and stir it on up. And here is the end. Got my chicken alfredo, my Caesar salad, my breadsticks, my wine. Babe got his. How it tastes, babe? It's like olive oil. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I almost forgot my alfredo sauce for my bread. Okay guys, so we're back at my client's house and today we're going to be working on the cabinet frames. We did the doors um, the day before, so now we're going to go ahead and work on the frames and we're going to pretty much do the same steps all over. So starting with the deglosser, you're going to scrub really, really hard and make sure you're getting off all that previous shine and sheen so that the bond coat can really adhere to the surface. Next, I'm just taking a wet cloth and wiping it and then drying it with a dry cloth.
And just remember, whenever you're painting with wood, you want to make sure you're painting with the wood grain. That is very important. But if you're using regular laminate cabinets that doesn't have wood, then you, it really doesn't matter. However, you still want to ensure that the brush strokes are all going in that one direction.